What are you doing, you clumsy thing? All right, sit. Sit. Good boy. I just wanted to let everybody know that Lurch, the new family Great Dane puppy, is just hit seven months old. Uh, I gave him his tenway that covers parvo and distemper and all that. I took him to the vet and got his rabies shot and got them to check him out. I wormed him. Uh, tried blue lotion on some of these hot spots. I don't believe they're mange. That didn't seem to help. They're not getting any worse. So day before yesterday, I give him a lime sulfur bath to see if that fixes it. But they don't seem to be itching him. He's not scratching or digging at him or anything of that nature. And they're not getting any worse. So I think they're literally just hot spots. You know, just irritated spots from heat. You're vicious. He loves me to death. He seems to have picked me as his human. But I just wanted to let everybody know that he's doing well. He was 91 pounds when I took him to the vet for his rabies shot. And he's noticeably thicker since taking him. If I had to guess, it's probably a hundred or maybe a little bit over a hundred pounds now. So he's putting on weight and uh, he seems happy. He's got lots of room to run. We've also been giving him six. I know they smell good. And the dachshund one of these doggy daily glucosamine tablets. And he's pretty stout too. Sometimes you gotta let him think he's winning. But he's getting pretty stout. So I don't always have to fake it with him. Pull, pull harder. You can do better than that. Pull. I've been leaving him off the chain. It's, he's been here, I don't know, three weeks. And during daylight hours, I've, there you go. That's what I mean. Pull good and hard. Uh, during daylight hours, I've been trying to leave him off the chain. Just let him roam around the yard and play. And, you know, we keep an eye on him. We keep the curtains open and the inside door open if we're inside so we can see him through the glass. And I try to come out and play with him and take walks with him. And, But uh, we've been leaving him running loose mostly through the daytime and then tying him up at night so he doesn't go rambling and roaming around. There you go, that's a good strong pull. He's teething, I believe, because he likes to chew a lot. He does a pretty good job listening. But I've noticed that if you don't have his rope around, he tries to chew on my fingers or basically anything he can find to chew on. So I think his teeth are bothering him. Maybe he's getting ready to lose his baby teeth. I'm not for sure what age that happens with puppies, but but uh, I think that's what's going on. Because he seems like he's always just gnawing on stuff. He's got a tree stump he dug out of the ground that he's been carrying around as a chew toy. Guess what I've got? I've got what remains of your tree stump. Stop, stop, sit, 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 sit. Good boy, there's your tree stump. Oh, there you go, good boy. There we go. And uh, he just gnaws on it. Just something to soothe his teeth, I guess. You're wearing me out. Oh. Oh, you're precious. You're precious. Oh. He's got this thing. First time he did it, I thought he was trying to hunt me. I think he just tries to hold me still for a second so he can get a hold on whatever it is I've got. Look, look. You ain't holding me still, turd head. Oh, here. Got some sassafras growing right out in the yard.
Don't know if you guys can see it from here, but my wife painted his doghouse gray to kind of match our house. So we have tried a time or two to put a bed of sorts in his doghouse so it's not that hard plywood that he's laying on since I know Great Danes have joint problems later in life. Uh, we tried a memory foam mattress. We got a new mattress for my little girl. She didn't like the memory foam. And so we said, well, well, we'll put this memory foam mattress in there. And that lasted about a day. He started shredding it to bits. Uh, I had an old bench truck seat out of a Ford F-150 that was worn out and had some rips in it. And I said, well, I'll set that beside his doghouse. That'll give him something to lay on because he seems to like to lay on our yard swing. And he started ripping that to shred, so I've got to get that out of his area. So I think he's too young at the moment to uh, try to do things like that because his first instinct for anything squishy is uh, to chew on it because he's teething. So... For the time being, he's just sleeping on that plywood floor because anything I put under there, he tries to tear it to shreds. I think he's just after water, but I just don't want him to get in the habit of going up and down the road. Now see, he's not after water. He's just curious. Which I don't. Hey now, come here, lurch. That's a creek snake. Leave him alone. There he is getting some air out there. Can I get zoomed in on him a little bit? Yeah. Focus. Creek snakes aren't poisonous, but uh, still don't want him to bother them. You interrupted that poor little creek snake's meal. Get back up in the yard. There you go. But I just wanted everybody to see that he's happy and healthy and vaccinated and doing well. And gaining weight and uh, like I said before hopefully he has a long and healthy life I know Great Danes have a shorter than average lifespan for dogs but for the time that he is with us I hope he is happy and healthy and serves as a good friend for me and my children and my wife and uh, so yeah, this is Lurch. I settled on a name. Uh, we figure he's big. Our last name is Adams. And so Lurch kind of suited him better than Rufus, which is what they had named him before. So that's the video. Consider a subscription, a thumbs up. If you're watching this on LBRY, consider uh, tipping me a little bit. This is Marcus out. Y'all have a good one. Come on Lurch, let's go back up to the house, come on. That's a good boy. Where'd your rope go? Where'd you put your rope? We've lost it. I'm pretty sure Alistair is not interested in your tree stump. Or you just want somebody to fight with you for it. That's a precious boy.